Yo, y'all, man, it's your boy A1 from Stars Game. We out here making mad at moves, man. First thing first, man, go hit that subscribe. We're in the Houston Texans playbook, and we're going to be going through Gun Wing Flex Week, okay? Gun Wing Flex Week is a 12 personnel set. It gives a good variety of plays. Let's get on the field. Right now, we're going on the air. I'm going to run through the plays real quick so you guys can see them, and then we're going to go a little bit. It's like, kind of like a one-on-one -on -one scrimmage so you guys can see. It's hard to do, like, uh, schemes against the, uh, what's it called, the practice mode defense because they're just a little bit extra and they're not really playing, like, how people play, um, like, an actual person. So I like to practice my things on air, then make sure I get back on uh, against, like, an actual, like, person and things like that. Like, do I actual games? So run on air, then go practice in the game. That's the best way I play to run offense. First thing we got is the Gunwick Flex uh, RPO Zone Peak. Simple, you want to make a read. Either you want to hand the ball off to RB, uh, which you're going to hold on and press A, um, RB. Oh, no, it's A, actually. That's weird. That was the first time that um, I seen that with what's it called? With like an RB there instead of an A, because usually it's A there and you hold on. So you want to either hold on to A and you want to hand the ball off, or you want to press Y. So right here, we hold on to A. He keeps it, okay? Oh, that's what we're doing. And the other one's going to be passing it. RPO is very key. If you see this linebacker go inside, like come down, you want to make sure you kind of dip that out. Um, the next one we want to have is this RPO power. What the power does is it gives you more of a run. It gives you like a run play still, but again, you're reading to see if you can throw the pass. So RPO um, power peak, same thing. It's a power. If I see, I'm going to throw it. Uh, you want to make sure you make the right read. You want to maybe come out and even call it. You want to call it as a run play off top. But, like, if the throw is there, then make the throw. Next thing we have is the RPO read. Okay, this one's like a read option. So the read option is there. You want to make sure you take it. If you make it a just, like, design read option, you just read the R guy on the back line of scrimmage on this side, uh, on the left side of the field, and you just run the read kind of like this. If it's not open, then you can press X, and then you can go ahead and hit down the outside. Um, I think we got one more. The last one is Verts. Is it Verts? Definitely going to be uh, RPO. No, we, yeah, we went through all those. Verts. I love the play action right here. Look at the look right here. Real quick play action, but the thing about the play action, is not like one that holds you up, and play action is awesome. Especially these read play actions where you can have like a, it like keeps you in the pocket. So you see it's like a different, like, it's like he's going out for a route. I This is the best way. He didn't have a slant with that. Great way to run the offense, man. Having that read there really catches the defense off guard. Play action is awesome in this game. I love it. It really free freezes the user. Um, let's try this a little bit against a uh, opponent and then see how they uh, handle us. Again, we're in the Houston uh, Texans playbook. So if you're rocking with Houston and you guys need some plays, you're at the right spot, especially for 12 personnel set in this gun wing flex week. No RPO week. And then we got to get one more. So we're going to this gun wing flex week. Uh, we're coming RPO, and we're gonna go. We're probably gonna get a lot of three, four, four, three against this. So we'll go random four, three. I don't know what we're gonna get. We're random. We're making that read. Okay, we're gonna hand it off. Press hold on to A. You want to make sure you're uh, passing it. This is in the Houston Texans playbook. Let's get after it. Right there, you want to make sure you get that pass. There you go. There you go. You want to get up there. Get up field. Get up field. Climb up field. Once you get that pass off, you make that RPO. You want to climb up field. Let's take a look at that one more time real quick so you guys can really take a look at that and see uh, what's going on at the line of scrimmage. All right, look at this right here. So we're reading that R guy right here, that running back, that linebacker. He steps down immediately. As soon as he steps down, we want to make sure we hand that off. So because he's stepping left, R read, we're reading, we're reading. Okay, it's there. At this point, I'm passing the football. Nobody's there. Take advantage of it to the Baja, okay? Let's get to the next play real quick in this game. Next thing I want to do is RPO uh, power week, power peak, power week. It's like a power, but at the same time, you got the RPO too, just in case. Just in case. Same thing, they stay. We don't get much, but it's a safe call. Safe call because the RPO is taken. The pass is taken. You can't do anything. You get the safe call by handing the ball off from the power. It's okay if you don't get a, yard, little, a lot of yards. It's okay. You don't want to throw an interception. Right here, pass it. Oh, he almost got me. You see how close that could be? Literally, it could be literally super close if you uh, make a battery. Same thing, power right here. It's, it's tough. I'm telling you, it is tough, but it's a safe way. It's a safe way to go about it. 
Next thing we have is the RPO smoke, okay? This is like a read call on RPO, so it's not a peak. This is a read. Read is a read option. Now, when they have RPO right here, zone peak, power peak, that's like pass. They come across the middle of the field. Read, you're reading it, then you could throw screen after that. Make sure you guys keep mindful of that when you're running the RPOs, okay? Again, when the Houston Texan playbook, let's read this backside defense in. He comes downhill. He does a good job. He was on bottom, bro. I should never do that. Let's go back to that read again because you should hand it off at some point. Like right here, I'm going to go ahead and hand it off. It's hard sometimes to make, that, to make the right read on it, but you have. You got to. You got to. You got to. And sometimes you're not going to get a lot of yards. Right now, you're going to get, say, uh, everybody's on the line of scrimmage. It's going to be tough. Right here is a little bit better because guys are off the line of scrimmage. So let's see what we can do. Go ahead and take that read and get upfield. We're going to show you the negatives. We're going to show you the positive. And then we're going to kind of just freestyle it and go from there. Then we got Birch right here. Um, Birch is awesome because of that read option. Look, you really get a good opportunity to read these guys. Let's go and hit the Birch right here. We're going to go ahead and just call tempo plays right here, okay? Deshaun's pretty good, too, at the backfield. Great, great quarterback. Great quarterback. Same thing, you want to have those reads calls. Get that read, get that read. Get down. You have that comeback on the left side. Just be mindful of that when you're throwing it too as well. It's hella effective. Peak, we got peak call right here. Peak call. Right there, they do a good job coming back inside. We thought it was there. Uh, let's call RPO read. We get up on yards on that. Get a little bit of yards on that. RPO, let's go power, power. No, let's go power. Where we at, where we at? Power peak, power peak. Again, this is a 4-3, so it's going to be difficult to get these off. This works great against the goal line, though. I'll tell you that. Great goal line uh, offense. Uh, let's go our zone peak road right now. Almost. If he's manned up, it's a little different. If it's zone, he steps. Make sure you uh, take advantage of that. Let's go RPO read right here. He comes down. There you go. It's explosive when you get it. You just got to make the right read. That's the thing about it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this a little bit. Let's go RPO. Let's go slap this time right here on the left side. These guys could blitz him down. Oh, we going to do a possession catch. We're going to get a little aggressive. It's okay. Same thing. Uh, make sure you make the right read. That RPO, you want to have that RPO action. You notice that all these plays have some type of read option pass to it, okay? That's super important. We're getting one yard, but it's safe right there. Super important that you have that play action look there because it really just keeps the defense frozen um, the whole entire time. Oh, he got up on us on that one. Let's do a couple more. Then I'm going to go ahead and wrap up. We're in peak. Good read, good read. Um, outside that, man, this is the Houston, Texas gun wing, uh, wing formation. Uh, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, make sure you guys, ooh, uh oh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Um, I hope this little twelve personnel set helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, I really do. Make sure you're using this in the goal line. I recommend the most. It's not like an every down thing, but if you run, if you rock with Houston Texans, uh, these are some plays that if you didn't know. Uh, could definitely help you out by, you know, just trying them out. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe. Your boy A1 is out.